As you might already know, guys, the whole purpose of doing motion graphics in After Effects using videos and so on is to produce a video that you can use outside After Effects. You can use this video on your website, on the social media such as YouTube, Vimeo, Twitter, Facebook if you like. Also, you can render a video, put it on a CD or DVD and mail it to your friends. But also, you could prepare a professional video later on, I hope so, to send it to TVs or to special production houses and they have their own format which I will inform you. Before you start producing your video, there are a few things you need to, you know, organize. The first one is the work area. The work area is the time or the area within which you want to produce your video. Remember that you can come to work area and and stretch it, make it, for example, nine seconds, three seconds, whatever you like. You can also do the same for work area start. So you say, OK, my video is going to start from this frame here till this frame here. Or you can produce if you double click on the work area for the entire composition time. OK, for us now, we want to focus on five seconds. Here you are five. We press N to put the work area to five. So we are going to render only five seconds. That's the first thing you want to look at. The second thing and the most important is, of course, you guessed it, the composition settings. In the composition settings here, first of all, always ensure that you are in classic 3D for now. If you did Cinema 4D or Ray Trace CD with Extrude and so on, please choose them. But if you have just a motion graphic with an image or a video, please stick to classic 3D. Otherwise, it's going to take a very long time. Let's go back to basic. The next thing you have to look at is the width and the height. 720 pixels means the video is 720p. You could change it later, but it's better to keep it the way you have created. Now, the next thing you want to look at is the frame rate. Well, the frame rate is not going to change during the rendering unless you force it to change. For now, it's 30 frames per second. That's cool. You look at the resolution here. If you notice here, the full resolution is 1280 by 720 as set. And it's going to take 3.5 megabytes per 8 bit per color frame. So we are on the least color possible here. 3.5 megabytes. For a video of 10 seconds at the base of 30, that's 300 frames times 3.5. That will give you the size of the video. Now, plus or minus, of course. If you go down now to half the resolution, what will happen is the size of your video will go less, but the resolution will not go down. You will have very good resolution. Don't worry about the viewer here. The preview here is just for preview. Also, you can go third. Notice the video gets smaller but you keep resolution or quarter if you like. This is also very much used if you want to upload a GIF. I will go back to full for now. The duration is 10 seconds, but it depends on the work area. So these are the few things that you should take note. Thank you for listening. And in the next lecture, we will render this video.